and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight, we are joined by Blake from Blake Goes Face. What it do? And Ben from... Beckett? From Card Catalog. Hello. Let me read you a, a, a passage from yeah, the do. Yu-Gi-Oh! Bible. Yes. Silverfang! <laughs> 001, Dark Grey, Normal Monster, Monster Type Beast, Attribute Earth, Level 3. Uh, attack 800, defense 900. How long do we humor this? Rarity oh, wow. common. This rare creature's attack and defense are well balanced. If you ever get to see the dark gray, you're extremely lucky. Yeah, man. And, and that sight gag was excellent for the audio listeners. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, true. I'm just up on last we- week's podcast. Go, Brad, go! Yes, you did. Go, Brad, go! The it, audio. Oh, you did not oh, go to the audio podcast. Yeah, no, go, Brad, go! Sorry, sorry audio listeners. Sorry, audio listeners. Brad's now uploading last week's we podcast. We really care about our audio listeners. <laughs> we do. Uh, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, let's start with you, Blake. Uh, I played a bit of Master Duel. I watched for... I, I was... When I, like, grind random things, I'll slap up some videos that are recommended to me. Your videos get recommended to me a shit ton for some reason. Uh, so slap that up, watched a couple games, went, <laughs> oh, fuck the TCG, and then just kept playing Master Duel. Still playing Thunder? Yeah, buddy. You think I'd get bored? I really don't. Still winning as much as you were? Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Uh, well, it depends. It's like uh, the games I win, it's not close, and it's like turn two. Um, and then if I get to turn four or five, and I'm grinding things out, I kind of go, nah. So if you had to rate Thunder out of ten, where would you think it is? Not just based on your experience, like, but based on the experience sorry, of sorry, all Thunder sorry. players. Like. One being the best deck in the format, or no, no, ten no, being ten, the best deck? Ten being the best. I think a really solid seven. Uh, according to Master Door Meta, uh, it is currently sitting in tier three at a power level of 4.6. Ah, that's, that's, come on. You can't give something 4.6 that can skip a turn like that. Uh, going just over Lirilu's Tribegate. Yeah, that's, that's fair. I think whoever's in charge of Dueling's meta is an idiot. Yeah, also is uh, against birds, is a birdist. Yes. <laughs> uh, ben, how was your week? No, uh, just in lack of birds, well, to some extent. Yeah, I didn't, haven't played birds in a while now. Uh, so, well, I was, had my last chance to summon Rodent Toad on Sunday. Granted, I showed up to that event. It's why I've worn black, in respect. Yeah, in respect. Same. I was incredibly hungover for that tournament. Yeah, yeah you was, were not a happy time. I was not having a fun time. <laughs> Like, fundamentally went alright. Like, I never... Fundamentally. I guess, because I was so hungover, I, like, just focused on the game and, like, didn't fuck around. So, like, I really enjoyed my match with Jake. We played... I didn't. ...a very intense three games. Uh, eventually, I just out-resourced you in the two games where I was just like, I'm behind us slightly. Quad game. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, it was fun. Yep, yep. I was there for that. Yeah, Jake was uh, pretty salty. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, that was that. Necro Valley uh, can suck my cock. I think I ended up going, like x2 and then again tonight i went x2 playing the new version of the deck where i played like the 40 card window build uh that deck sucks if you play against control i played three oh no it's okay matchups. because there's no such thing as control in Yu-Gi-Oh. it's true yeah. it <laughs> I, played, it's not a thing. I played against three control decks and one combo and i beat two of the controls but one of them was uh, Exodia Stall. What? Yeah, it was like Exodia Stall. It was like, you oh. build board, I sphere mode you. Then okay. I try and stop you from killing me. And then I sphere mode you again. <laughs> and then hopefully you're out of resources at this point, and now you just lose. Mm. Mm. To okay. be fair, game one, I didn't know what was happening. So I was just like, full combo, sphere mode. And I was like, okay, full combo, sphere mode again. And I was like... Hmm, this is problematic. I'm running very low on resources. But then I realized, what if I just made a giant access code and can punch you in the face? Oh, I thought you were going to say, what if you summoned Ra from deck with the sphere mode? <laughs> nah, I didn't have that. He didn't, didn't know that. the chant. Ah. Did not know the chant. Now, um, the but yeah, that was that was it. How was your week, Jake? Uh, not great. Um, so I participated in the OTS tournament on the Saturday as well. Uh, game one um, against uh, the tier element Mirror. Uh, I just, yeah, kind of got thumped. I think game one, he summoned the Dweller, which you can't play through in tier. 
Uh, game two, um, I set up like the anti spell and like the standard board and Abyss Dweller, so he couldn't play through that. Uh, game three, though, um, he meta gamed me hard. Oh, I yeah. fully anticipated for him to be going first, set up the Dweller, all that kind of stuff. Uh, he went second. Uh, I started to play. He cherries me and took away my Kikaloses, oh. uh, which makes it very hard to play. Not impossible, but very hard. Um, and yeah, it was not a fun time. Oh, shit. Fair. Uh, game two against Ben, uh, or round two against Ben, um, I made a dramatic miscalculation in game two, where if I'd just done an XZ summon, which I was planning to do anyway before the battle phase, this I was might game not one. have. Was it game one or game two? Yeah, game two, you won. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, in that scenario, I should have, like, just paid even the slightest bit of attention to what the stats of the monster I wanted to get rid of was, because um, it was the token with the equip, so I need to punch it twice, mm. and I decided that uh, two monsters with the same attack as the defense of the token would be enough. Yeah, meets it beats it. That's yeah. how it works, right? Nope. Nope. Um, okay. Wait, I can, I can uh, check the And rules. Necro Valley just being an absolute horrendously shit card. I fucking hate that card. Now... I have, I have a question about this. Number one, it says, uh, before you start the duel, greet your opponent with a friendly handshake. I don't want to do that. Nope. Second, uh, it says, expert tips for preparing your deck. And I was really excited about this, and I can't find them anyway. I'm seeing a lot of vanillas. No, no, but I want the deck tips. Where are the deck tips? Just the tip. Hey, AJ, so you're playing, you would say you're playing a combo deck right now, would you? Yes. I mean, I'm trying to talk about my week in Yu-Gi-Oh right now. No, no, it's fine, Jake. Uh, because this is the new. This I'm going to give you a. I'm going to give you a hot tip. Yes. This if you say combo. Silver Fang, if you say Silver Fang Rageki, I swear to God. No, this is called the Rageki combo. Okay. Okay. It doesn't involve says... Rageki and Silver <laughs> Fang. Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe. Moving right along. Anyway. Maybe. Um, <laughs> One my other two games in the OTS, uh, but they were not difficult. One was Dark Magician, and one was like some weird branded control deck, and it was not great. Um, and then tonight did similarly not great. Um, I the only change I made to the deck obviously was Snow Band. I put in uh, Liner, the Light Swat. Wait, is it Liner? Is that the one I'm thinking of? The the level, tuna the level four tuna. The one, yeah, I think that I think you're right. Yeah, I put that in instead of snow. That came up a couple of times tonight, and I kind of rate it. Yeah. Like it's a level four extender, and it's monster removal, that mill stuff. Okay, valid. So yeah, it seems it seems good. I like it. Um, yep. Continue. Yeah, that's pretty much my week. Okay, so before we get into the news, yes, Blake. Has I thought Blake had the Bible. He doesn't. I have the Bible. No, this definitely uh, isn't. This doesn't help me. So this, this is, is just a, cards. I'm not, like super into this. Yeah. Uh, when did you I get? I actually this? started reading them. Uh, we picked them up from a bloke at Chico's. Um. So what? we picked them up from a bloke at Chico's. This is the Prima official strategy guide to Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh. This has like full scripted duels on how to practice. Where it like where where where, where was I? Here, 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 here. So it's like, check out a sample duel, and you can script your entire duel, uh, right down to the fact of like what you say when you play cards. Like, oh I, wait, apparently a third person shows up. Is this the judge? I don't know. Uh, but Hanako said, "Tee hee hee, this <laughs> battle is good as over now." And Taro said, "Hee hee hee, not so fast, Hanako." Do you remember that trap card I put down on the 6th turn? This is on the 10th turn, by the way. Um, it's a very good card uh, to have protect yourself against powerful dragon cards. And then uh, someone else. Then Mickey. Sh Mickey must be the judge. He's then the trap card dragon capture jar <gasps> confines dragons in defense position as long as the trap card is active. That's all it does in the show. And then the Taru fuck? said, Exactly! And then Hanako counters with Counter remove trap. Remove trap? Remove trap. But at that point, they're already in defense mode. Huh? Yeah. No, no, that's what Taro is supposed to say. In this part, you say, huh? Huh? And then Hanako says, I am using, I said I am using remove trap with he an explanation. Oh, well, wait, wait, wait. Ben. Yep. Uh, that pairs exactly with manner of dueling. Always declare each move in a loud, clear voice before you execute any play. Yes. Thank you, Card Catalog. We're making you a better duelist this week on the Cowboy Forgetting Do you think if we podcast? played when, like, this was a thing? 
Do you think we would have been good? No. If you no, no, you now, you right now, as you stand, you go back fifteen years, right, and you walk in, and you go, I am now going to win this event with the with the Yu Gi Oh knowledge you have and the resources you have right now. You go back a, as you are. I mean, maybe. Do, do you think you can top an event? Potentially. So. Uh, I think it's all luck based at this point Mikey the judge Surely. says as the name suggests the spell card removed trap the spell removes card removed trap, trap? The, what? yeah it's a spell card right? yeah wait so wait hang on he's just used hang a normal on. spell card yeah, yeah. as a quick yeah. play yes he has yeah which was my point it's, it's like, already in if, defense <laughs> yeah your dragon has already been stopped yes uh, please then... tell me there's no important news whatsoever uh, there's a few bits. Uh, there's one. Hey, hot, it's fine. There's one hot bit of news that's just come off the press uh, that I think you in particular will be very interested about. Did the fish just get announced? What? No, no, no. It's not the fish. Okay. Is it throw chair worthy? I will. We'll find um, out. This duel spoilers if you plan on scripting this with your friends uh, ends on oh turn my God, fourteen. Why is this still going? This is the uh, longest bit he's ever decided to do seriously though it it's, I'm genuinely interested in this deck. book it's, it's just catalogue I could do a whole and then yeah. podcast right just on me just reading this, this book um, prepare to fight made up of at least 40 cards and a game map um, at some point on the car map we'll just have Ben reading this as like yeah. a nighttime story so oh. that you can go to sleep because that's what turn I feel one. like doing right now no, turn, turn one they, they normal summer Ben combos. I understand your passion Rubina. okay and I admire you for it but we need to move on but it's the swarm attack I don't combo. care. We need to move on. The searchlight combo? Please shut the fuck up. Anyway, no. um, to, bree- to breeze over these ones quickly, yeah, uh, yeah. the new goatee uh, archetype got oh, a second wave yeah. of support. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, for the most part, it's a bunch of extenders, uh, sure. but it does have some cool um, sort of synergy stuff going on. The deck actually um, looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's got a really cool... Uh, it's got two traps, actually, um, and they kind of recycle themselves, and the archetype recycles them as well, so... Like, they banish themselves, and then yeah. the archetype brings it back. So, Very yeah. nice on resources, I guess. Yeah, and, like, this deck has no shortage of getting its resources back. Anytime it's banished, it just comes back in the standby phase. So, yeah, it does some cool things. So, it'll be interesting to see if that uh, comes to anything. With yeah. what we've got. Um, one last thing before I put this notebook yes. down. This legitimately tells you how to go infinite loop if there is no ban list. <laughs> what? Uh, cannon Soldier, Sengen, Sengen, Search Witch, Witch, Search Sengen, Sengen, Search Witch... <laughs> But how do you get them on the board? I don't know. It just but says you just loop. Oh, uh, you can ultimate offering them to the board. Yeah. And then you and wait, then you go wait, into. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. How much damage does Cannon Soldier do? Uh, Half. it does. Five hundred. Five hundred. How much does ultimate offering cost? Five hundred. Yeah, but you're this doing you're doing the first damage. Yeah. No, but you have to pay <laughs> yeah, the summon yeah, first. Valid. Yeah. Look. That okay. Doesn't work. You kill yourself. Well, no, 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 no. You don't because you have your normal summon. Yes, but then to get the other monster on the board, that's a 500, so you've paid first. No, you haven't, because... Oh, wait, you have to normal cannon soldier. Yeah. Oh, feck. Yeah. Yeah. No, that doesn't work. No. What oh. about the combo? Okay, but if you use... already had cannon soldier on the board, you normal, pop it, there at 75, you're at 8, and here you go. Okay, look, this may well be the time yeah. frame of which you can go, oh yeah, this is a, a two-turn clock that we're on. No, you set it, and then they don't attack it, because they think it's man a bug. Yes. Christ's sake. Combo number one. Uh, more excitingly, we move yes, on I'll to what will hopefully be, for Ben's sake, the last that we hear of the Albaz lore. We know it's not. <laughs> uh, but it is one of the more niche parts of the Albaz lore, which is the Dogmatica rituals. Uh, so we get a new ritual monster. Were you not aware they had rituals? I don't... No, I don't care. Jake is you super might. into this ritual monster because it was Dogmatica lore. Okay. No, no, it's actually just a cool monster. Um, so it's what Al- do? so it's Alba Zoa, uh, Dogma, White Zoa of Dogmatica, Dragon White? Balls, <laughs> uh, Level Twelve White? Light Spellcaster, Twenty Twenty Two, Attack and Defense both Four K, uh, Ritual Summon this card, blah blah blah. Um, you can only use the second effect to put once per turn. Uh, so it's unaffected or all Dogmatica while it's on the border, unaffected by any extract monster. Okay. Um, and then during the main phase, you can either have your opponent send uh, from their hand or extra deck to the graveyard one card for every two cards in their extra. What? So, so if they have twelve cards in their extra deck, they, they have to send six, six cards from their hand or their extra deck. Oh, they they can choose. They choose them. Okay. Yeah, it says hit. Uh, wait, hand and or. 
hand or extra. So, so yeah, they have to choose one or the other. It sucks. Yeah. What do you mean? Just send from extra. That's still six cards you're losing from your extra deck. Ah, okay. that's fine. He's okay. okay. He's okay. Anyway. I would pay $3 for that card. The other At option you have yeah, is that they card. return all fusion, synchro, Z, and link monsters they control to the extra deck. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah so yeah. mass bounce. All right. Um, and then they get a continuous spell as well. Is it once per turn? Uh, yes. Ah, uh, sucks. It doesn't. And I'll tell you why. Because every dogmatic card does that. Get through the what? extra deck? Yeah. The ritual spell, if you have the right number on the board, get rid of it. This continual spell that I was about to read it out does another one. The two, so the, the goal two is other... to loop your opponent's entire extra deck and then force them to discard their hand. But they have no extra deck, so you can't activate the card. Yeah, that's fine. Why does this card have a hand condition? If someone wants to keep the extra deck. It sucks. <laughs> Maybe turn three and you got one card. No. Uh, I mean, no, like, it, no, could no, do, no. it could do cool things. I'm and, just going to discard all my two element cards. Yeah. Um, then and they get a continual. Then they get a continual spell um, on activation or on resolution. It adds a dogmatic or ritual monster or spell from the deck. But if your opponent controls a monster, you can add a dogmatic card as well as that. So plus plus one if they control something. Okay. Uh, and then if a dogmatic ritual is on the board, you get to look at the extra deck and send a card. Which some okay. of the other ones do as well. You get to look at what you send. Okay. I can't wait for the, somebody to do this against me and so I go, these cards, you can have the whole thing, bro. Like, these, just take it all. These cards seem mediocre. They're and not then, amazing. No, I never yeah. said they were amazing. And then you also realise it's ritual cards and yeah. it becomes hot fucking garbage. Yeah. Well, Blue the, card bad. Well, the benefit with these ones is a lot of them can use either the graveyard or the extra deck for their ritual summon. So you send yeah. Herald and all that kind of shit. I feel so like yeah, inherent benefit this is just because you have a hard-on for Dogmatica, Jay. I feel like it's just because you want a dick on Dogmatica and you're sick of Albert's law. Yeah. Yeah, Both of those things can be true. My reason is correct, and you didn't admit yours. Yeah, no, it's yeah. true. I it's didn't fair. admit it, because it's not. If Moving it, on. If, if Moving Alistair on. was a part of their law... <laughs> Alistair was a part of their law. It would Alistair be, doesn't have law. Maybe he's a part of the Alba's law. He's not. His law is that she, he should be illegal. He's in the uh, fusion dimension. We have a new Ice Jade uh, Synchro. Why? And, and by new, I mean the first one, for some reason. Um, even though this archetype got a support ages ago. Yeah, um... So, generic, except you need a water tuner. Um, quick effects, you can just make all monsters uh, that you control unable to be destroyed or banished. And if your opponent activates a card in response to that effect, you get to banish a card of that name from field and grave. Uh, and then if it leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, uh, special summon it. Oh, if a card is banished by your opponent's effect while this is in the graveyard. I'm going to rise her back to the deck. Yeah, look, it, again, this isn't a Wait, great is card. Wait, is it a wind? Is it a wind? No, it's a... Nah, they won't summon it. <laughs> they won't get that far. Nah. Uh, but what I've been building to is a, uh, a piece of support that just got announced. Uh, I didn't have time to get the uh, information up beforehand. And that is a new Plunder Patrol ship. <laughs> <laughs> is it... Yes, my favourite deck, Somehow Plunder! I feel like this is a joke. It's not. Is it a fusion? It is a synchro. Okay. Better than that. Or it's not, a, you not, can tell not me what better, it does. No. It is a pendulum, pendulum synchro. Okay, you can read it to me, right? And then I can tell you how good it is for the archetype because I have superior knowledge to everybody on what the archetype is. I can tell does. you how good it is for the archetype. Yeah. That's filled with pendulum monsters that's now just gotten a pendulum. I mean... Wait, are there pendulums in Plunder? No. <laughs> oh, okay. This right, be I was first. worried. Okay, right, hit so me, hit we'll me. start with the pendulum effect. All right. Uh, during the main phase... How do you put it into your pendulum zone? It probably has the... If it leaves if the field... If it gets destroyed, place it in the All right, maybe you should read the other effect first. So I know... Right. Wait. Like, what its summoning conditions uh, are, so how okay. to get it in the So you know how all the Plunder Patrol cards place Plunder Patrol cards into the Spell and Trap Zone? Obviously. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> if you Plunder Patrol your Plunder Patrol into the Pendulum Spell and Trap Zone... Yeah. Does there's, it count as being so in a Pendulum P's. scale? Plunder Patrol, Pendulum... <laughs> uh, yes. No. No. Yep. This card has got worse. We don't wait, know that yet! Wait, We've not read it! Okay, Ben, no, no, no. if it's you synchros and then draws four, zones. okay, it could be good. Wait, no, it actually okay. could be better, because it counts as a face-up Plunder Patrol card for your yeah, it does. shipyard. Yes, it does. Uh, yeah, I it's also that. Earth, if that makes any difference. I think we needed the element. Earth ship. Yeah. yeah, so Earth and Wind are the only ones, well, not the only ones, but the main ones. That we no, we needed a Wind. Um, so, uh, generic material, uh, level eight. Uh, okay. If your opponent special summons a monster, you can add a Plunder Patrol card from your deck to your hand. 
Then if this card is equipped with a Plunder Patrol, special summon it. Oh, special summon one Plunder from your deck. Oh, so add one and special one. Once per turn? Uh, this, uh, yes, once per turn. God damn it, Jake. How many fucking cards do you want to add? Actually! <laughs> <laughs> um, and then during your main phase, target a Plunder Patrol monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, and if you do, place this card onto your pendulum zone. Okay, so you... So that's how it moves. Put it there. So... And so then it summons you go... its thing, and then you go effect, add back, and... This is an Earth card. You could have legitimately just made it maxi. Yeah. Uh, what did it do in Pendy? So, in the scale... <laughs> Uh, during What's your main phase uh, one. Oh. Uh, so during the main phase uh, you can declare an attribute return this card to the extra deck and if you do special summon a plunder patrol token fiend level 4 uh, zero attack zero defense with the declared attribute in defense position on both players fields that's not bad you you know as the plunder professional here oh, I can, I can no, no you're the plunder yeah player. no that's what I'm saying I can I will uh, refer to my Many colleagues of Plunder. What the fuck? Who gives a fuck no, about the token? No, no, no. It's giving your opponent the token so that you can special summon as freely as you want. Yeah, the biggest restriction with Plunder is that you needed your opponent to have the right attributes to summon the right things unless you, like, hard made the ships. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> so now... You can just give them a token of whatever you want. No, 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 no. You have to synchro summon a monster. And then add it, and then put it in the pendulum. This scout. is still better than the current method of okay. set a trap card and wait another turn. Okay. <laughs> Why do they refuse to give bad decks good cards? This deck is not bad anymore. How, how easy is it to synchro eight? Relatively. What? What do you they, mean? They can summon two, and one of them's a tuner. Yeah, but Blake hasn't paid attention to this deck after the first wave support. <laughs> He doesn't know that fucking golden hair exists. Ben, you think I paid attention during the first time of support? <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> okay. I mean, okay, so you summon it for free, you add a card back from the, then you go, uh uh, and then you just go for him. And then on your opponent's turn, you're getting free resources. Oh, well. you don't call me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, okay. What does it look like? Is, does it look cool? I mean, it just looks like any of the other ships, to be honest. Yeah, that looks... That... It looks like a Photoshop. Yeah, it also just looks like the Thousand Sunny. This is the One Piece ship. It's fake. Yeah. Okay? This card is fake. Whoa! Big call. That is a big call. Jake's been baited. This card seems relatively busted, actually. This card's fake. Let's see if it's been launched. Well, we any... it. Yeah, oh. it's real. Because that's your, that's your trusted news source, Ben. Nah, I don't. What about that Twitter D account? Nah, don't. That, nah, that's don't. That's your response. <laughs> nah, don't. Anyway. Um, so, um, we've only just really gotten into the ban list, so we can't really talk about it too much in terms of its effects. But uh, we um, haven't heard about your no, responses yet, though. No, no having uh, <laughs> Ronan Toten sucks on turn five. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really funny. I, I can't... Oh. I, can't, I can't believe they didn't even give a fuck enough to get rid of, like, Demise. Or put Demise of the Lane to one or something. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it, it's really funny. Like, I would have been upset if they touched it in the wrong way. The fact that they just didn't, and they went, Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Like, that's just hilarious what to problem? me. What problem? Like, I it, see no problem with yeah, that. Because when Metaverse went to one, I was like, oh, okay, they're... You know, limiting. They know it's a problem. They li oh, they're also like nobody used metaverse for anything else besides mine, so they know it's a problem. They're getting now. It's just like, nah, <laughs> fuck you, deal with it. Um, everything else. Was there anything that came back to three that was interesting? Uh, no, not really. I thought maybe that was there was a chance there that something cool could um move up. Uh, other than that, I don't know why they didn't. They hit tier a bit like. It's funny to me that they, they didn't like, really hit no, here. It is kind of annoying not having a snow though, because I did like like having a the free summon and then b the off turn sort of flip. Ooh, flip. Um, you know why? Uh, it's because it doesn't it require an good. extra card like Book of Moon. So <laughs> you don't actually have to set a card. You just set it from deck, so oh, it's yes. free. We all need Kotodama rules. Yes. Kotodama. You said you were going to put this book down. Yeah, but then I found that the back of it is a rulings page. Oh my god, is it really? Yeah. Does, it, does it give you what situations? What do you need for fucking Does it give you situations, yeah, though? Yeah, rulings for other cards. 
Um, oh, God damn it. There's rules for like how quick plays work and advanced players. Okay, Jay, I'm going to quiz you on advanced oh, players. Oh, let's go. You and me. Time We've for got the this. quiz. Come on. All right. If a Both set trap headache. card face down, yep. when can I activate it? Next, uh, next turn. The following turn. Hey, hey that's set in shot. Set trap card face down. That's in shot. Set another shot. Set um, trap card. You can activate it on the following turn. Monster. Wait. Ah, uh, he's an infinity player. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, MSD? I scoop. <laughs> can right, I... Man. Yeah, hit me. Can I offer a monster as tribute the instant it is destroyed? No. How? What? Can I offer a monster as tribute? So, like, someone goes, destroyed? like, uh, torrential tribute, and you're yeah. like, oh, oh tri I tribute this to someone fucking I'm, Jinzo. I'm going to yes. say no. The, uh, yeah, that, that's, a answer, uh, that's a resounding The answer though. is no. For okay. advanced players, the answer is no. Um, what, for basic players, it isn't? Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you do it quick enough, Jay, it's like Uno. If you go, ooh. <laughs> if this is actually key, if I have to show my opponent my cards, yeah. how long does it last? Hmm. Uh, Until they can confirm the thing that they're looking at. No, well. it can't be right because then you just sit there. I'm gonna say very specifically, thirteen and a half seconds. <laughs> okay. You must show your cards to your opponent until your opponent is satisfied. Fucking. However, no. looking at your cards for a long time in order to stall is illegal. So again, non-specific answer. Thank you. I'm glad we were non-specific in 2004. Well, yeah. It's very, like, legally <laughs> sort of terms of, um... Oh, what's the word they like to use? Um, <laughs> ambiguous. Shit. No, no. They like to be ambiguous, but they like to use it... Uh, the word reasonable. Yes. They love yeah, the word reasonable, yeah. because who the fuck knows what reasonable means? It's Nobody. different for everybody. Yes, Ben. Yeah. Last rule in question. Yes. Thank God. Um... If D spell or trap master allows my opponent to see my cards without destroying it, can I shuffle my cards in place on the field so my opponent doesn't know which card it is? No. Yes. The answer is no. Damn. But yeah, there's like a whole fucking bunch of rulings, like specific card rulings. Like trap hole rulings, spell blending circle rulings, ultimate offering rulings. Uh one of his MST. Can you rules. imagine like being at locals and having an argument and being like, alright, bust out the fucking book? <laughs> Do you reckon it's gonna ask this MST this MST negate? I really Mystical agree. Space Typhoon. Yes, please, oh, please. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Um <laughs> I am in Spain without the S. España. <laughs> España. España. <laughs> okay. Spain with the bread. You're a so <laughs> when my opponent uses Mystical Space Typhoon, can I use Mystical Space Typhoon, which is set on the field to destroy it? Yeah, of course you yeah, can. Yeah, you, you can. can destroy your opponent's Mystical Space Typhoon. But since Mystical Space Typhoon does not have a counter effect, you cannot stop your opponent's Mystical Space Typhoon. <laughs> yeah, effect. there you go. <laughs> yes, but technically no. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, but you, you can do it. Should you? No. I need a quick drink. All right. However, okay. Next discussion point while Jake goes for his drink. Yes. Um, I return Prohibition drink. rulings. Let the door what does play refer to? Play is an action other than offering a card or sending it to the graveyard. Play includes summoning monsters, changing battle position. What? Hold up. Uh, what? That's, that must be an old ruling because it doesn't affect cards face up on the field. Yeah, according to this ruling, prohibition stops you from changing no. cards battle position. No, 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 no. I'm more interested in the part that is. Does that count as play? Play? Is that what it's saying? Yes, that counts as playing a card. So if you like romgom, you can't. Yes. That's um, so weird. You also can't set spells and trap cards or activate card effects. So, so like you can't even set cards that are under no, prohibition. No, play, that must be play super includes old. setting. Yeah. But which doesn't count because again, <laughs> we go back to Rongo. You could set cards, and it says you can't play cards. Hmm. Oh, uh, if I prohibition calling Exodia the Forbidden One, can I stop Exodia's effect? <gasps> No, having all five pieces of Exodia is considered a victory condition, not an effect. Therefore, Prohibition cannot stop this. Sad. Imagine a world where you sit there and be like, yeah. Ha ha! Left, left <laughs> arm of Exodia. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong arm, dickhead. Alright. All right. Do we have questions? We have uh, quite a few questions. So, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below for you to come in and say hi and ask us questions. Okay. Our first question comes to us from 6i6. 
Oh, uh, when a ban list drops, what is your first instinct to do with your current deck, depending on how your deck was hit? Uh, scramble and try to fix uh, or find a hidden tech uh, where you somehow didn't see, use it in the list before, or move on to the next meta. Uh, see how playable the deck is still. Yeah. If it fucks it, move on. If it hits it in some reasonable way, we go, alright, we fuck it, we ball. You can typically tell based on how vicious the hits are on the ban list. Like, Sprite still works. It's not saying. It still works. They're very... You're right. They're very particular. When they want yeah. something dead, they're like, no, no, no. Unplayable. Yeah, <laughs> like... Broadbull and Barrage yeah. getting banned? <laughs> maybe you should look at a different Yeah, game. maybe. Uh, but yeah. Perhaps it depends. Should... Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Jake yeah. doesn't know what it's like getting his deck hit because Alistair was, uh, is still alive. When was the last card you had in your deck get hit on the ban list? Fairy Tale Snow. <laughs> yeah, if we're talking recent no. history, it's that. But prior like to that, crippling. it was like crippling a deck. A crippling um, hit. I don't know if there's ever been a time where. Like, Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! I woke up and Scout was at one and the rest of my cards were banned. <laughs> Orcus. Orcus, oh, yeah. Pop Horror, yeah. Yeah. Was like, the deck is still playable, but it's not anywhere near where it was. Um, but Three years ago, Jake had a card hit on the band list. What format? Orcus. Yeah, Post wow. Post YCS, pre-COVID. Wow. Didn't fucking matter at all. Um, the only other one that even came close was I had um, Pendulum Magician, and I literally oh, sold it the uh, day before the band list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sold a Pendulum deck the day before wow. the ban list. <laughs> so it's it's okay, it. Jake. Sometimes you get cards hit the ban list. Sometimes Konami puts Nadir Servant to two to mock you and then puts it back to three. Like, Sorry, <laughs> goes, Jake. Here you go. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. <laughs> you need consistency cards? Okay. <laughs> Take this. I, I feel like that was like Konami's version of giving oh, Josh back you... salad cards. They're like, are you sure you don't want to play in vote? Uh, Sorry, Jake. Here you go. <laughs> I want to check Arthur something. Arthur C. Konami yeah. just walks in and is like, Hey Jake, <laughs> how's it going? Oh, you need this? Okay. <laughs> um, Why is his name Arthur? Because it is. So. <laughs> he also sounds like a dog. Okay. Okay. I think it was about 20, when was it? 2012, 2013? Somewhere around there. My Literally my first experience was <laughs> as, as a, a young boy, um, a mere child. Uh, being like having a friend who was like super paid to win a new year and like having uh, full wind ups and stuff. I, I thought uh, I heard that too. I heard that too, yeah. <laughs> That's okay, continue. Nothing. What? I didn't hear you say that you had a friend that was a pedo. No, pay to win! <laughs> it sounded like you said pedo. Listen, you, you said it so quick, it sounded like you said, I have a mate that was a pedo, and I was like, I'm sorry, what? Well, I didn't go to church league, but. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Um. He was playing wind-ups, okay. What uh, does the rulings have to say about that, yeah, uh <laughs> What does the rulings have to say about diddling your opponent? <laughs> Spellbinding circle. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, we've lost it. Anyway, so, uh, okay. so yes. the first experience I had was, yeah, my, my friend had wind-ups, uh, and I just got into the game, and then my friend was like, I can't play Zed Mighty anymore. <laughs> and I was like, what does that mean? He was like, I, I can't play it, it's banned. So that was unlucky. That was literally one of my first experiences with Yu Gi Oh! And it was a ban list. So it set me up well. So our next question comes to us again from 6R6. Uh, what is the worst icebreaker slash get to know you game you have had to experience? Um, I'm uh, assuming this is like the first oh, time you've asked someone and Leonardo. it's like formed your opinion of what that person's okay. like. I thought you were talking about like going all fucking. Nah. Something and they're like. Um, I thought when I read this question last week, I thought that's what it meant too. But I've had time to think about it. Uh, like, no, it's like your ice, first impression. Duel the ice break is at Jake's work. Oh, let's get wasted. And Jake's like, okay. <laughs> you go away to a retreat. And it's like let's all drink. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's like once a year. You make it sound like it happens every Friday. Nah, it does. Ah, it doesn't. I'm here every Friday. Here? Oh yeah, true. Uh, but no, uh, I think a good example of that is Leonardo. Where we were all like, yeah. to be, I never I played guy. Leonardo for like a month and a half. You after he got came off vocals. easy. I swear, I versed him like every week. And yeah. the thing is, like, you interact with him outside the door, and he's like, "Oh, this is ch this is a chill dude." Like, yeah, he'd be um, great to go to tournaments with. And then you sit down, and you're like, "Flag it, flag it, flag it, flag it, flag it." And I'm just like, "Why? 
Are you so nice when your deck is such an ass? Why do you hate fun? Uh, no, um, but yeah, cool dude. Um, it I, just happens with those kind of decks, though. Yeah, look. Somebody shows up playing Mind Stall, you're like, or Exodia Stall, you're kind of like, eh, we Exodia all Stall, know Jesus. my story. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fuck Jack Pappas! <laughs> <laughs> His arch nemesis. Don't forget to bleep it. Um, I don't think you so, will. I bleeped it. Okay. Oh, what was my worst one? I think my worst one was at <laughs> Melbourne YCS, and I was versing a dude with Spiral. And he literally took like 15 minutes a turn. Like he took eight minutes of time yeah. to play. And I was like, bro, it doesn't take this long. Yeah. Like I called a judge, but I should have called it much earlier because I would have got that game if I did. Fair. Um, other ones I've had is when someone troll unlocked me, but then they were, again, playing Spiral and they just kept adding cards because I didn't know what troll unlocked it at the time. Yeah, it's both players. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Just don't be a dickhead. It's not hard. Yeah. Don't be an ass. Um, Next question again from 6 r 6 uh, What card have you purchased or traded for but then it was banned soon after? I Bonus really points if it was within this. 24 hours. Uh, man, do you want to call Harry? <laughs> <laughs> this is just his life. It's uh, just his life, bro. So, um, and nah, Harry will be it. watching this, so I'm not sure if he approves of this, but I'll, I'm sure I'll hear about it. Um, I'm not sure if it was pre or post ban list, but he sold all of his um, collector rare punk cards. That's unfortunate. I'm assuming it was post ban list. Okay. It was pre ban list. Man made off like a. Yeah. Edit. Well, that's the thing. I still reckon those cards are be worth money. Um. I mean, if you sold them to the store, then yes. he did a pre ban list because they've definitely been there before the ban list. But yeah, uh, what do you call it? Harry just oh, our friend Harry has a very bad uh, track record of like buying into a deck completely and then it being hit within the week or within the day. He, uh, he got a uh, 24 hour which was not fun. Um, I have gotten off pretty scot-free. Most of the decks I've had a good chance to play with before getting hit. I think I picked up Sky Strikers as they came out, and then it got hit, which was literally the closest thing to it. Um, my one was not close at all, and it was red flag, so I knew I was on a close margin, just I decided to just get completely fucked. Uh, zoo Format. Mm-hmm. So, oh, Megatins yeah, coming out. Uh, I ordered the Megatins yeah. from the Kijo. Yeah. And I'm just in hospital for the next, like, three weeks. My body is just like... We give up now. We're just gonna die. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> cool. And then when I got out of hospital, I had, like, one tournament to play them. And then they yeah. got banned. And I was like, yeah. it's okay. I have Spiral. Hey. Yeah. I, I think it was really funny. During, like, peak... Ban- uh, peak tin season where they would like reprint all of these really cool uh in archetype cards yeah. we had it with like the, literally that tin and then three years prior like the every tin was yeah. hey use these now and you it's like oh okay four weeks to play this yeah. deck yeah they did Off it with shadows as well before the um big band list but yeah it's, so far we've been pretty good yeah i, I Jake does again we, we again go, Jake yeah we know what that feels like so yeah yeah I think ahead whenever I buy stuff. Like, I'm like, oh, it's been three months since my ban list and these cards are really good. Yeah. Uh, maybe we won't buy this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you got to run the numbers, Jake. Well, you decided to run the numbers in that the ban list wasn't going to be for another three months. I also did, to be to be fair to him. I was like, I December. Buy shit. I didn't buy nothing. I know, but you could have maybe gotten rid of Spy. I don't sell, Jake. You know that. Yeah. I'll run a deck into the ground. You don't sell. I haven't sold shit in years. We sell as a side hustle. Yeah, but I haven't, like, I, <laughs> I won't decks. buy a deck and then sell it. Yeah. Unless I buy a deck and fucking hate it. His Starlight like Dragon like... Maids would, uh, would back that. That's because he's a, anyway. Yeah. Hey, uh... <laughs> let me refer to page Don't... 49. Wait, let me read it. Step two, add it. essential cards. No matter the deck book, theme, then. it is about, I'm... I'm... this is actually, I flipped to the perfect page for this example. Let me finish. No matter what the deck theme is, there are powerful cards to fit into any deck. Due to their power, these cards are limited or semi-limited. These are mostly rare cards that oh, require card. to construct the deck. Alright, now may I read the book? He's going to throw it away. Construct these cards. Anyway, uh, next question comes to us from... Actually, there's nothing to read in that book. Can I yeah, it's, it's all cards. Um, next question comes to us from Jesse. Uh, oh no, which one? I don't think it's Come our Jesse. Jesse? No, okay. no, it's not our Jesse. All right. Uh, Trip Jesse. What do you... No. Why do you play the decks you do? 
Less so in T0 formats, but do you pick decks because they are fun or because they have a higher chance of topping? Um, to what extent do you think that it's a deck pilot that makes a good player? Um, and then he's telling a story about how he took Altergeist Oceanics, um, but oh. he probably couldn't have piloted um, Sprite if he were in the room to the same level, level that he piloted that's piloted fair. the other. Playing what you're comfortable is very important, but also... Uh, just if you want to top an event it's shocking how little decks that aren't tier one do that so mm. let me show you a graph as this graph demonstrates uh the way i play decks is the higher brain power is required the more that deck has to be fun the lower the brain power required if it's helmet and like really fucking good that's fine but if it's high brain power i have to like it so this sweet line here that is the line of Ben playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. And uh, so my one is, how little fun do my opponents have? <laughs> and then, uh, how luckily am I to play it? No, but... Um, I've given myself way too much editing to do in this podcast. A little bit, yes. yeah. A yeah. little bit, yeah. Fun, though. Um, but yeah, I think it depends on what you want to get out of the game. I wouldn't tend to play, like, seriously, unless we have YCS or regionals or something in which case you just play the best deck and you practice with the best deck as you said when you have like a bunch of players that are really good you kind of want to be at that level if you want to top an event if you don't want to top an event and you just want to have fun then build fun decks do what you want to do a flip a uh, rivalry of the warlords again don't do that um <clears throat> um i mean history would dictate that i just play fusion <laughs> decks but um for me, it's just Purple mechanics card, that yeah. I like. Um, Invoked was just easy. Like, very little brain power. Just did the same thing. Um, Orcus was very much the same thing. Very linear. It would just happen to be the better deck at the time. Um, tier Elements, again, I assumed that it would get good eventually. I didn't think it would get to the point that it is now, where it is one of the best decks, if not the best deck, in the format as soon as it was. I was thinking it'd have to wait until the Ishizu support came out. Um, uh, and yeah, I have like inspiration pieces in the meantime of like other decks that come out and I'm like, oh, I could play that. Yeah. Like I thought I would really like to play the the Sh Shira, Trila or whatever they are, the yeah. level seven vanishy things. Yep. But I don't know if I want to be that player. It doesn't seem like a Jake Shrat. No, it's not fun. And I haven't done that kind of, like, floodgate stuff very often. And when I do, it's something that generally yeah, doesn't last like all that long. Adding this to being the tower deck type thing. Even yeah. Even it's not really the same. No, not really. That's just yeah. me just sitting there going, huh. <laughs> Big thing. Yeah. Lol. Um, yeah. It, again, it just depends what you want out of the game. If I'm, like, in the game to have fun, or just, like, hang out with people, then fine. You just play whatever. Um, but if you're not. Blue card. I need this guy. What? This actually has like what was in the tournament packs for when you went to locals. Oh, yeah. cool! Mm. I need this card. This is the one fusion monster that I need. That's alright. I'll get it re reprinted in OCS twenty. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I actually, I actually, I doubt this card was like a thousand dollars. I think. Yeah. How much was Kwagata Hercules before you bought it? Uh, I paid like one fifty, but That's... it was like four hundred at the time. Mm. I got an Italian copy for one fifty. It's probably due for a reprint. Yeah. Yeah. What? Fucking twenty years later, due for a reprint. Um, Any yeah. of those tournament packs. Uh, we've discussed the graph of Ben. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which concludes us for this evening. Oh, I was going to talk more shit. Oh, please don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that concludes us for this evening. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you have found us on a podcast app, please uh, give us I mean, a not sub Spotify if Frank has anything to do with it. Uh, th well, if Spotify has anything to do with it, fuck me, they keep fucking this up so yeah, hard. We've, we've got three different things now. Well, like Taylor Swift, we hate Spotify we do yeah. um but yeah if you found us through a podcast streaming app feel free to uh sub us and tick us to keep updated if you found us on youtube like and subscribe uh jump to the discord ask us questions for next week and we will see you next time ah. peace Bye.